Hi everyone, we continue our talk about the HTML and the main tags used in it. And in the previous video, we saw a couple of basic tags like paragraph, uh, I don't know, like uh, the heading tags, okay, uh, the bold, italic, and so all the stuff for working mainly with the text. And uh, we also saw a couple of types that don't uh, require the closing tag like PR for breaking uh, the line and moving the content to the next line. And also we saw the HR for drawing horizontal lines. And now in this video, we are going to discuss the different ways of uh, splitting our uh, main page into different sections. Okay, for splitting two sections, we saw P. And technically, P can be used with other elements, uh, but it's not convenient for this usage. And paragraph is mainly used uh, for the text. But there are other tags, you can see them listed here, that are actually used to break the page into different parts. And so the first one that we are going to see is the div tag. And so what div is, it is nothing else but just a universal container. Okay, so you can think of uh, div as an alternative of the body. So for example, the body of the page is one big uh, container that is going to contain the whole information of our page. Okay, everything, this like blank screen is the whole body of our web page. And inside of the body, we can have this type of universal container called div. And inside of div, we can have any content that we want. Okay, we can again have one div with hello, we can have another div and maybe inside of the bold with world, maybe with some fancy structure. So it doesn't matter how we type our text here. We reload the page and we see our content. Okay, so this one is stored inside of one div and this one is stored inside of another. Okay, so just some basic container to break our page into two parts. And uh, like for now, you might ask why we need such thing. Well, because in complex web pages, like different parts might have different functionality. And again, once we go deeper into the course, you will see like how we are able to identify each block of the page and apply some different kind of operations to each block. For now, just try to understand like uh, what each tag means so that in uh, uh, any person's uh, HTML code, once you observe the div tag, you will note that this is nothing else but a basic container. And actually, everything else that we are going to see in this video is again nothing else but a basic container just with different naming. Okay, so main is also a container, header is also a container, and like functionality wise, they don't uh, provide any big additional value to us. Okay, so why then you might ask we have all these ones and don't have a single div? Well, because again, to make uh, the structure of our web page more readable and more logical. Okay, technically, we can wrap all the content of our web page inside of the divs, we can correctly write the CSS code, we can correctly write the JavaScript code. And once the browser parses the page, it will show everything exactly in the same way as it was correctly written in the header, footer and section. Okay, so there will be no difference. But again, for reading the code for later trying to change the code, because we might write uh, HTML code, and I don't know, a couple of months later, we need to apply some modifications to it. And we need to write the code in the clean and understandable way. And that is why we need to break it into different logical sections. Okay, and as you can already think, main is going to contain the main content of the page. Okay, so inside of the body, we can have main, like uh, all the relevant content, we can have header, header. Okay, so the header can have uh, some introductory information to the web page, maybe some title, I don't know, maybe some people might store the date or something else inside of the header. And correspondingly, in the footer, we can uh, have uh, mostly some contact information or stuff like this that appears uh, in the web pages. Okay, again, if we, for example, visit uh, BBC's web page, 
we can observe that, for example, this part might be the header with navigation bar. Then we can have the main content of the page. And at the bottom, we can have some contact information. Okay, so it's not mandatory. Technically, you can write footer, write the main page here, then uh, transfer the main at the bottom and write it in this part. Okay, no difference like in the ordering, but logically we try to write our code in the clean and organized way. So we will be able to differentiate everything. Okay, again, we can write some text here in different sections. We can save, we can reload the page, and you'll see that uh, it, they don't differ, okay, in structure. Uh, if, uh, like, the browser didn't parse them in different ways, they all were treated as separate sections, and if we converted everything to divs, it would look the same, but again, for readability, we try to write everything in a clear way. And in the same way, we have a section tag, and uh, mainly what people do, actually, inside of the main, we divide our web page to different sections okay we can have as many of them as we want uh, sorry here okay so section and technically inside of the section we can again have main okay so why i'm repeating this so many times so for you to understand that functionally they don't provide too much value to us okay the only value is the readability okay in this way we write the code we go to html it works okay and but we just organize it in a beautiful way and this is the general structure in how the code is uh, written Okay, and so this is about these main parts. And uh, another uh, tax for breaking the page into different parts are article and aside. Like article is typically used again mainly inside of the main or maybe in the header. It is for some separate information about the web page. Okay, for example, some advertisement and the top part of the page or somewhere else, uh, or another part that is not connected with the main content, we can wrap in the article. Okay, or maybe if we are reading, for example, a web page in the newspaper, and for example, the link to the next article or anything else can be stored in the article uh, tag. Okay, so or maybe in the YouTube, I don't know, for example, the link to other video can again be stored in the article. So it's not connected with the main content but clicking on it we can be transferred to another page and aside tags are also mainly used in the main page again they are they require opening and closing and a site is mainly used for constructing some sidebars okay on the left side of the page on the right side of the page no difference and if we write some content in it it will again be treated as a uh, uh, usual container so for example writing hello in the footer tool we again get both of them in the same way but mainly if we need to so we'll have a sidebar we write it inside of the side and later once we study css we will see how to move the text to some other parts of the page so sidebar we might want it to be displayed on the right we can transfer it on the right so this is all related to css styling but regarding the main uh, tags actually these are the main ones used to split our page to different parts okay so to again cover everything again div is just a universal container that can be used anywhere uh, main header and footer are generally used to break the page into three main parts and the later section is mainly used to divide the main tag to different parts and article and aside are just used to display some additional information in the web page article basically is used anywhere or uh, mostly i think at the top or at of the main and uh, but it can also be used at the bottom and anywhere else and aside is mainly used for creating sidebars in our web page Okay, so this is all about this group of tags. We are not done with the tags. There are a lot more to discuss, more complex one to discuss, and we are going to continue all of this in the next video. Thank you for watching this one. See you later.